So hey, my name is Ree and this is the Model 1 Power. And I would like to call this a font that's spicy but not hot. Basically, this is a Lenovo font in a part of stock Androidishness, just like the shot. So let's talk design. It's got all the metal construction, which literally translates to two things. It's heavy and heat dissipation is great. So because of that heaviness, you won't get that premium feel holding it in your hands. So that's a give or take, you know, it's according to your preferences. And display, it's a 6.2 inch LCD display. So it's not AMOLED, it's an LCD. So blacks aren't true blacks, but hey, there's nothing to complain about the display or nothing too much to boast. It's just a normal IPS LCD display. And it's stock UI, which literally translates to it's smooth, motor gestures work really great, and you won't have any hiccups on daily day-to-day -day task. On other hand, one-handed usage is, is, is a kind of a problem because it's it's big and heavy. So that's something to keep in mind and you got USB type C and jack. Oh, do you remember him? It's headphone jack. So that's really nice to have. And now it's time to take a look at how its speakers and display fare. Even though it's not practical, let's listen. Amateurs find themselves waiting for inspiration to strike, while the pros get up and go to work. Inspiration is complicated. Sometimes you're neck deep drowning in it, other times you're in a creative... So now let's talk security. It's got face unlock and fingerprint unlock. I mean like, face unlock in most part is gimmicky and I find itself to be more inaccurate and sometimes it doesn't even work in high brightness. So a fingerprint sensor works really great for me like all other Android. So let's now talk about the battery life. It's got freaking massive 5000 mAh power battery which literally translates to massive impeccable battery life. But one complaint is because of that massive battery the weight is so high and it's gonna kill the premium feel. So now it's time to talk about the cameras. So talking about the cameras, it's got dual camera system. One is a 60 megapixel primary shooter and another is a 5 megapixel shooter. So camera is the place where I really got disappointed. This camera doesn't even, I mean like using my iPhone SE side by side, I find my iPhone SE's camera to be so premium. Like camera wise, this one really disappointed me. But with good lighting and good conditions, you can get some average shot. But camera wise, for both selfies and for primary shooting, I don't, I don't recommend this one. And now, now you're seeing how PUBG runs. So meanwhile, I'll talk some technical terms. So let's talk about the specs. It's got 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of ROM, it's got Snapdragon 636 processor with 1.6 GHz octa-core, that's, that's good. And above all, what really impressed me is it's Adreno 509 GPU. For this price, I, I, it's, the GPU is really good. So you can see you're having some hiccups here and there while playing PUBG, but nothing severe, right? So some frame drops here and there but nothing severe and the Adreno 519 GPU is good it's really does the job fantastically for the price and I don't think you can't really go wrong with the GPU or specs even though with the performance and Snapdragon 636 everything daily performance and long-term performance is good and for average gaming also you can really use this device so you can see we are putting this phone in high bright or high sunlight and even with that sunlight the display has got plenty brightness and outside you can read but not something so impressive or something like that you just can't read and it's workable so that's about the performance and things so now this PUBG is on medium settings not not on the highest or not the lowest so in medium settings you can see playing PUBG is smooth but 
definitely not the most enjoyable. If you're coming from an iPhone 10 or a Galaxy S9 or kind of premium phone like that, you're gonna miss the experience. And you know, the colors are not so vibrant in this display. So that's something to keep in mind. So now let's talk about the verdict. So my verdict is this is a phone that has ample amount of performance that is good for daily usage and some light gaming and the battery life is very good and talking about the premium quality it's not up to the mark it's not a premium phone so i think if you are in a really tight budget if you just really want the purpose of performance battery life and all you should buy this one but i think you really want a premium feel uh, much more upgraded features and all you should probably look into honor or if you already have a premium phone and you just want a secondary backup this could be a great option so hey my name is Ree so hopefully you like this video uh, if you do please subscribe and let this channel grow I'll I will definitely post videos regularly my name is Ree talk to you guys later bye